Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is usmlevideos.net. Please visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net in order to watch more videos. Whether you prepare for step one or step two or step three, we have hundreds of videos so that you can watch and learn the most important points for these examinations. Today, I would like to discuss classification and management of hypertension. Hypertension, it sounds so familiar, yet when we come across certain questions, even as simple as classification, we get confused because we do not have proper, I mean, an easy way to remember those numbers. So in this video, I want to discuss the classification and uh, the management, the most important drugs that need to be used to control hypertension. First of all, let me talk about uh, defining hypertension. There are two numbers you need to name, remember, 140 by 90. A patient should have more than 140 systolic and more than 90 diastolic on three separate occasions in order to be defined as hypertensive. So if a patient has 140, more than 140 by 90 on one occasion, that's not sufficient to define him as hypertensive. There should be three different occasions in order to be diagnosed as hypertensive. Now, first of all, let us see the classification. All you need to remember is to uh, get hold on two numbers, 120 and 80. 120 systolic and 80 diastolic. If the, if the blood pressure was less than 120 by 80, that is normal. Now, remember two other numbers, 19 and 9. You add 19 to 120 and 9 to 80. So, if you add 19 to 120, it becomes 120 to 139. And if you add 9 to 80, it becomes 80 to 89. So, those are the numbers for prehypertension. So, prehypertension is uh, systolic 120 to 139 and diastolic 80 to 89. So, that is prehypertension. Then stage 1, add another 19 on the top of what you added under prehypertension. You add it up to 139 in prehypertension. So in stage 1 hypertension, it starts at 140. 140 to 159 by 90 to 99. That is stage 1 hypertension. And stage 2 is more than 160 and more than 100. That is stage 2 hypertension. Classification is very important because that defines how you manage the patient. For example, if a patient is uh, uh, he's, uh, he's in prehypertension, then what do you do? You don't have to use pharmacological treatment. All you need is to add non-pharmacological management like weight reduction, diet, sodium restriction, and increased physical activity. Those are the things that need to be done when the patient is uh, in prehypertension. In stage 1 hypertension, you start with a thiazide type diuretic like hydrochlorothiazide. And you may also consider ACE inhibitor or ARB or calcium channel blocker or beta blocker in stage 1 hypertension. In stage 2 hypertension, when the blood pressure was more than 160 by 100, you certainly should use two antihypertensives like a thiazide and uh, an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, or beta blocker, or calcium channel blocker. So those are the important things we need to remember when we talk about anti uh, the hypertension classification. There are, uh, not, there are four normal prehypertension, stage 1 hypertension, stage 2 hypertension. Those four things need to be remembered in order to answer the questions because there, are, there will be tons of questions in USMLA on classification alone. Now, let us see what are the most important drugs that need to be used in uh, uh, hypertension. First of all, 
let us go class by class alpha blockers these are zoosins doxazosin prazosin terazosin then beta blockers these are, those are lols ethanolol betoxolol bisoprolol metoprolol nadolol propranolol thymolol those are the beta blockers then beta blockers with uh, intrinsic sympathomimetic activity like penbetalol pindolol cartiolol acetabutalol and there is uh, only one alpha beta blocker there is only one you need to remember this that is labetalol labetalol is the only one with both alpha and beta blocking activity then ACE inhibitors, these are pills, benzapril, captopril, enolapril, lysinopril, phosinopril, perindopril, moxipril, ramipril, trandolopril. Those are uh, ACE inhibitors, very, very important when the patient has uh, a renal disease like uh, diabetic nephropathy. ACE inhibitors are an invaluable source to treat hypertension. Then angiotensin receptor blockers, these are called ARBs. These are artans like candesartan, aprosartan, irbisartan, losartan, valsartan. These are angiotensin receptor blockers. Then calcium channel blockers like diltiazem, verapamil, amlodipine, phalodipine, estradipine, nifidipine. And then very important diuretics which are actually less expensive and very very widely used especially if patient happens to be an african-american diuretics are very very useful to treat hypertension in uh, african-american patients uh, the notable ones are hydrochlorothiazide chlorothalidone and endapamide metalazone and trichloromethazide those are uh, uh, thiazide diuretics, then loop diuretics, bometanide, ethacrinic acid, furosemide, that is Lasix, is very, very important. Then potassium sparing agents, the easy mnemonic to remember is SAT, S-A-T, SAT, and uh, spironolactone, and um, amyloride, and triamterin, that is SAT, spironolactone, amyloride, and triamterin and centrally acting agents clonidin transdermal very very important because one of the most commonly used drugs clonidin it comes as even as a uh, transdermal patch then guanabans and finally peripheral vasodilators these are hydrolysin and minoxidil so basically we have seen the major classes of antihypertensives and uh, there will be tons of questions on hypertension so this is the first step to remember them and uh, explore more about uh, hypertension on our website at www.usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net thank you